I would like to present to you all the information I have gathered over the last 10 years by randomly and gradually looking into Michael Jordan's connections with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. One of, if not the greatest inventor and genius to ever live, Nikola Tesla, said if you only knew the magnificence of the 3, 6, and 9, then you would have a key to the universe. It started off with noticing weird coincidences at first and marveling at them for a while before I took it serious enough to do some real digging. What I have found may scare you and it may open your eyes to the magical world we live in. What it definitely should do is make you realize this is not a coincidence and something else has to be affecting our world and our lives. Based on the enormous amount of information I have compiled, numbers don't lie. And Michael Jordan is the best example for this. With a lot of my attention on his career and stats, I started to see a really strange pattern of numbers occur. So I had a new reason to look into who and what Michael Jordan is. With more and more research, I became convinced this couldn't be a coincidence. So this is what the video is about. Michael Jordan's numerology and what it could mean. Okay, let's start with the basics. He is six foot six with six championships. Now that stat alone raised my eyebrow to wonder about what the greatest athlete in mankind's history has been up to. Jordan's number is 23. 2 divided by 3 equals 0.666666. 2 times 3 equals 6. When he came back from retirement the first time, his number was 45. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 is simply an upside down 6. So whoever designed the numbers decided to make the numbers 6 and 9 the same exact symbol just flipped so his Olympic number is 9 he wore the number 12 for one game which equals 3 so all the numbers he wore turn out to be 3 6 and 9 this will be the reoccurring numbers I will talk about Michael Jordan wore 45 for 22 games then he switched back to 23 on his 23rd game back. Ah, that's just a little fishy. Not to mention, 23 is the ninth prime number. He played 15 years, one plus five is six. He came into the league three times and retired three times. His career points per game is 30.12. Three plus one plus two equals six. He was Rookie of the Year in 1985. 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5 equals 23. And obviously we know what 23 equals. He won his championships in a pair of threes. Yes, two threes. And this one blew my mind when I seen the picture of this. I... I knew right away this is no joke. Are you ready for this? On the sixth game of his sixth championship, he hits the most famous shot in finals history to win the game, and the iconic photo was took with, you guessed it, 6.6 .6 seconds left. I, I don't know what to say. On the sixth game of his sixth championship, he hits the game winning shot and the photo is took with 6.6 .6 seconds on the clock. Man, his first six years, he didn't win a championship. Then he wins his next three and retires after nine years at the age of 30. Wait, what? So his first six years, he didn't win a championship. Then he wins the championships three years in a row and retires after nine years at the 
age of 30? That's crazy. You should prepare yourself because shit gets crazier. So then after he retires, he comes back at age 32. He eventually loses in the playoffs against the Magic. Next season, he's 33 years old and he begins his second three-peat. Now at 33, he has the greatest season ever. He led the Bulls to a 72 win season. Seven plus two equals nine. Then he retired at age 36 in 1999. You can flip that upside down if you wanna and that's 666. Then he returned once more in 2001 at age 39 and played two seasons with the Wizards to ultimately retire in 2003. Yeah, two, three. You can't make this stuff up. He plays for the Bulls and the logo is of a horned beast with blood on the tips of the horns. Now, just ask yourself what other logo has to do with blood and violence? And what is the offense that got presented to him that led to him winning all those championships? Yeah, it's the triangle offense. Now, look at his logo, the Jordan logo, and it definitely looks like a triangle. Now, Jordan, when he's dunking on people and when he's driving in the lane, he's sticking his tongue out like a lizard, like a snake, like the devil. Now what is truly amazing is when I started looking into the Bulls organization, they were established in 1966. And 33 years later, at age 36, Jordan wins six championships and retires. You have to be shitting me. Something can't be right here. The devil himself, according to the Bible, he is the prince of the power of the air. What? Air Jordan? Who soars through the air like no other before him? To point out, when he switched from the Bulls to the Wizards, he always remained a bull, simply because the Wizards used to be called the Bull Its. The Bullets. Now that shit is crazy. Not only that, Wizards? I mean, what are Wizards? They practice black magic. Now that shit is a bit too creepy. If somebody were to sell their soul to the devil, the devil does give you what you want. But in the end, the devil takes away the main thing you love the most. And the main thing he loved the most was his dad. And his dad got murdered on July 23rd. It seems he made the ultimate sacrifice. His initials, MJ. M is the 13th letter. J is the 10th letter. That equals 23. Now his full initials is Michael Jeffrey Jordan. So that's MJJ. M is 13. J is 10. J is another 10. That equals 33. His sidekick, probably he would not have won all those championships without him. Scotty Pippen. His number, 33. Coincidentally, 
I decided to do this video around the 33rd anniversary of the first Air Jordans in 1984 when he got drafted in the NBA. Michael Jordan's top scoring game is 69 points. He did it on the 69th game of the season. He scored 23 field goals and took 23 free throws. 69 is simply 23 times three. You can't make it up. He was the third in the NBA draft. He was born in 1963. He came off the bench 33 times. He was 21 when he got drafted. Then he had to go up against the top two players in the league, Magic and Bird, and then turned in to the Magic Bird that soared through the air. Well, I guess according to Jordan, the Red Bull does give you wings. And red, R-E-D, equals 23. I've learned that from Jim Carrey's movie, The Number 23. Now, after I was learning all about Jordan and his numerology, I was shocked to see a trailer with Jim Carrey obsessed with the number 23. If you haven't seen that movie, I suggest you see it. One of my best friends in Canada uh, had the obsession and he told me about it, started pointing to things, started pointing at license plates saying it adds up to 23. And he became, became like a mathematician, like, a, like some kind of savant about it. And, uh, and I said, that's ridiculous. But then I started seeing it everywhere. And uh, finally, uh, it ended up kind of culminating in uh, realizing that the uh, 23rd Psalm uh, was about uh, living without fear. And so that's why I changed uh, the name of my company to that. Really, there's nothing too extraordinary about him uh, until he finds this book. And then life becomes this mysterious, magical place where maybe there are incredible things that are possible.